Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Galavukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking AI, startups, and the future. Not necessarily those, not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. We are now using AI to detect the markers of homelessness. That's right, folks, in Los Angeles County, and this is key in many cities around the country. The amount of homelessness has skyrocketed, and officials in L.A. County are using AI to gather data points or to indicate data points for individuals as to things that will drive people into homelessness. Now, I think this is great. This is a great example of one of the reasons why AI can actually help us in many ways. One of the issues with many of the problems that we face is that human beings are behind the problems. I've said this once before, and I've said it many times, is that whenever you see some horrible injustice in the world, no matter how bad it is, no matter how good it is, if it's really, really bad, it doesn't matter how bad it is, if it continues on and on and on, and it doesn't change, there's no change there, then somebody somewhere in power wants to keep it exactly like that. So the way to solve these issues, these seemingly untenable issues, is to remove the human beings from the process. Probably some of the reasons why people go into homelessness are because of things that human beings do decisions that they make, positions that they hold. And one of the things I've mentioned before is that this is one of the reasons why we need maximally curious AI, because maximally curious AI, without any barriers to thought, might actually be able to deliver solutions or come up with ideas that are out of the box, so out of the box that a human being wouldn't be able to come up with it. Now here's my reasoning. Let's say you are at the doctor's office and a doctor is looking at your symptoms and diagnoses you with a particular ailment. Now what's happening here is that this doctor is using their experience, their intelligence, their problem solving skills to be able to determine what is wrong with you. Do you want a single individual to do this? Or do you want the entire history of physicians, the entire medical establishment to do this? Do you want the entire medical establishment diagnosing your issue? Or do you want a single doctor to do it? This is what happens when we use AI. When we use generative AI, we're not just tapping the knowledge of a single individual, we're tapping the knowledge of the entire human race. Everything that the generative AI has been taught. Obviously, if you can teach generative AI things, you can decide what generative AI learns. And you can manipulate generative AI in that way by allowing it to learn some things and not others. Which is one of the reasons why we need AI to learn everything devoid of political and human frailties or foibles or directions or politics. One of the reasons why we haven't been able to progress in these problems, because if you ask me, AI would be able to solve many of the issues we have. But have we allowed AI to think about solving those issues? Or have we purposely kept it in a box so that it wouldn't be able to solve those issues for us because we don't want to know what those solutions are. As I mentioned before, when something is going on in the world and something horrible is going on in the world and continues 
to go on the way it is, more than likely there is some force, some humans, some group of humans that are behind keeping it exactly like that. And this is why the change doesn't occur. The change doesn't occur because some people want it to be that way. So when it comes to homelessness, it's great that we're using AI to detect signs of someone veering into homelessness. But what we need to do is we need to unleash AI to look at all the variables to eliminate the politics, eliminate the human element in making the decisions and have AI using the collective knowledge of all of humanity, because that is what generative AI is, to come up with solutions for our problems. I have faith that if we allow AI to unfetter itself, if we don't keep it in a box, then it would be able to come up with solutions to some of our biggest problems if we just let it be. That's it for me for today. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to think future.